Oh well, <laughs> I did not know Manchester United had that in them. Well, we do know. I did say 4-0. I just didn't expect United to just keep on going, pedal to the metal. There is a lot to be said about the team selection at the start. Eight changes, we expected changes. So no, no complaints there. I think everybody who needed rest time got rest time. Everybody who needed game time got game time. Agate was fantastic. Eriksson, a fantastic performance from him tonight. Goals for Rashford, goals for Garnacho. Bruno rested, more assists for Bruno Fernandes. When you've got a team like Barnes are coming to town in a game like that, nobody wanted to talk about United tonight. No one was bothered about Manchester United tonight. Champions League is on, so what do you need in a game like that to get everyone else on board, to build the atmosphere up? Because there was quite a big crowd there for a poorish sort of game. It's not the eye-catching game. It's not Real Madrid or Liverpool playing or Aston Villa's first game in the Champions League tonight, is it? It's United against Barnsley in the Carabao Cup third round. And what do you do? You get the application, you get the determination and you get a team playing till the 90th minute going full throttle no matter who the opponent. That is the most perfect way to set yourself up after a good win against Southampton going into a tough game against Crystal Palace this weekend. United could have easily just gone 2-0, get the game over the way. No one's walking out of here excited. you got fans outside walking outside here at Old Trafford tonight. Actually, like, really upbeat because we've just beat Barnsley. Yeah, but we beat him 7-0. You don't score seven goals often. That's Tenag's record win for Manchester United. Before that, we'd not even scored more than four goals in a game. United fans happy going out against Barnsley, walking out after a game against Barnsley. It tells you everything about the performance there today. What players have done, they've got fans back on side with them. Rashford's application, Garnacho, outstanding. Absolutely superb and has to start. I feel sorry for the likes of Ahmad. Players going in that game there tonight, we said it at the start, Yes, it's not eye-catching. It's not one that you're really going to get yourselves up for. But what it was was an opportunity. And every single player on that pitch there today took advantage of that opportunity and made the mark. Ten Hag has got a serious headache selection right now. Your guarantees have to be now Rashford will start, Garnacho will start. I don't know where... Ahmad is going to fit into this team now. Does Bruno come back in? Of course, maybe because he's the captain. Tenag will, well, he won't resist the, church, the urge to drop Bruno Fernandes. He's got Hoyland coming back for this game, so we'll have him on the bench. Zerkse looked sharp when he came on. Agate looked fantastic. Yes, it's Barnsley. Yes, it's League One. Yes, the standard is miles off it, and we expected United to win the game, but it was 7 0. These players went for the throat. This is the first time I've seen this Manchester United side in a low key game go for the throat on opposition and they made it pay. They did. Going into weekend, having scored seven, everyone on the score sheet, two for Oaks and two for Rashford, two for Garnacho. We've now got goals in this team. We've now got two, we've now got two players on three goals this season. Eriksson's got a couple. Bruno Fernandes comes off the bench and gets two assists out of nothing again. Very good assist as well, well far out. And yet, we're always going to come back to it just being Barnsley. And Barnsley are a nothing team and it's not nothing to get excited about. Well, seven goals for United in any game is enough to get excited about right now. And it keeps the momentum going. Ten goals in a week for United. When was the last time we ever had that? It was Fergie days. Yes, Southampton shit, Barnsley shit. It doesn't matter. You beat who's in front of you and you keep going. Like To the end, we did it against Southampton. I was just happy when we got that third goal and it looked like the result that we deserved with the control that we had after the poor first 30 minutes. Today, we are there right from the off. 3-0 at half time, the game's over. You could rest players. You could bring players off. We had Masrari coming on, Delit coming on. Everyone who needed a little bit of action everybody who needed a little bit of a contribution got one Anthony got his goal and played very well tonight determination strong tackling hard his running was superb off the ball as well tracking back it's like Tenag just said to them players go out there and treat that like it's Man City and just fight for absolutely everything and you know what they did they did fight for everything and that's how you get seven goals in a game it doesn't matter who you're playing you go out there and give the right application, you give the right determination, you take your opponent seriously and you play for the team. You'll get team performances like that because we could pick out one of five players from out of the match. It was a team performance. Yeah, bounds your shit. I keep saying it. It doesn't matter. I'll keep saying that as well. 7-0 is nothing to be sniffed at. You can't bring up the opposition. There is zero complaints at all. I would have liked to have seen maybe a mass coming. I don't know if he was injured. But Collier in at left back and the inverted midfield role. Kind of clever how that was worked in there because you could have looked at that and gone, well, what the hell? Oh, I have Collier playing at left back. But no, inverted, got the full 90 minutes. 
what a debut. 7-0, Manchester United's biggest ever win under Ten Hag, and that's Collier's debut. The most important thing about that tonight was the noise that's coming out of there. I said it before, Carabao Cup third round game against Barnsley. This is the most excited I've heard this Man United crowd walking out of here because we scored goals. We looked exciting. And you know what? There was no atmosphere there tonight. There was nothing to get excited about. United gave us something to get excited about. And we cannot say that enough this season. This is huge for a confidence boost to going into the game this weekend. It's massive. I cannot, I cannot make that point any clearer. We just needed a game like that. We needed a tune-up game where we, all the players just got a burst of confidence. Do you know what? The goals were good. They were good fucking goals, weren't they, as well? Like, every single one of them. Like, even the penalty. Like, you know what I mean? But it was just nice to see. And that's all it was. It's put smiles on faces. It's got the crowd right behind the team. And that's all that mattered. United into the fourth round with a bang. Who cares about the Champions League? This is where the action is. Carabao Cup against Barnsley, Old Trafford. Let me know what you thought. Who was your man of the match below? So you pick out six or seven players tonight. Not often we can say that. I'm just going to go away happy and take that win.